Hi, this is Bob Peters. I'm currently in residence at Gaylord Hospital um, on the next, the next phase of my rehab. And I'm recovering from a perforated ulcer that I had, and it ended up giving me sepsis in, in a lot of my organs. So I was given large, large quantities of blood pressure medication, and that caused um, the blood to be shunted away from my extremities to my major organs. Um, to, to keep them viable. And when I came out of the uh, coma or, or my state of unconsciousness, whatever you want to call it, I looked at my hands and feet and I thought that I was in a fire. They, you know, they were really, um, they, they just looked burned. And it turns out that um, that was the price I had to pay for, uh, for life. So I ended up with a partial amputation of one hand, a total amputation of my right hand, no picnic, and uh, partial amputations on my feet. They had to take my toes. So it was touch and go for a while there with my recovery. Um, I was in and out of consciousness for about two weeks. And um, there was some discussion as to was, it, was I gonna make it or not. But I'm here now, before this I was, an avid cyclist. I rode about 200 miles a week. And prior to my cycling, I was a marathon runner. I ran about, you know, 50 miles a week. So I was very active. And, um, you know, so this is a period of readjustment. But since I've been here, I've been to support groups and I've spoken to other uh, amputees. And it's really given me hope that I'll be able to uh, find my way through this and at some level or another I'll have some peace and I'll be able to satisfy my need for motion. <laughs> so they assure me I'll be able to walk again with, you know, with extensions in my shoes and I'm, gonna, and I'm already looking into a prosthetic device uh, for my hand and possibly I'll add another two fingers to the, uh, to the other hand. So, I mean, we'll see where, we'll see where it takes it where it takes me, but um, that, that's pretty much my story right up to now in a nutshell. It's incredible. The care that he's gotten here since we walked in, I can honestly say he's improved 200%. He's uh, taking part in three or four physical therapy sessions a day. He's eating well. The staff here has been incredible. They referred us to an amputee support group and uh, we received so much support from that group. Um, they they uh, gave us other references to look at. I w once I w went onto the website, I realized there was the uh, the cabin on the campus that I could stay at, and it has made it a, a much easier to integrate myself into his care. The grounds are beautiful, and staying here on the uh, campus itself has made it much easier. He's been down in physical therapy. It's gone from uh, one session a day to now it's up to four sessions a day at the bedside, down in groups, down in one-on-one. -on -one. So they have him um, moving, you know, and, and getting back some independence. We're just waiting for the, uh, for the <coughs> non-weight-bearing status to be lifted, so then I, I can start working on my recovery in earnest. But like, as I said earlier, it, even with the limitations that I have, they really find a way to push me and really, you know, get the most out of what I can do at this point. Well, each, each day the hope gets reinforced. I mean, this morning I couldn't believe he was eating his breakfast. And um, the therapist came up, there were two therapists at the bedside today, one his occupational therapist, Jackie, who um, insisted that he eat, and he did eat. Everybody's helped us and uh, encouraged us, and it's well worth the work and the uh, kind of, you know, we, we had to actually come here and set up our lives for however long it's gonna take us. Right. But we're willing to because I've seen incredible transformation in the last two weeks. Yeah. For families who are looking to get the care to get their, their loved one back to a level of independence that works for them, this is truly the place. I, I'm amazed at the, 
the care, the support, the uh, the physical therapists are unbelievable. They um, they support and prod him to uh, to to see what he can do and to see where he can go. No, it's not like that. It's just like it, it freaks me out because um, I used to have a lot of strength there, and it's a little like I can't even I can't even lift a damn leg. It's, it's really shocking. Yeah, well, going back to what Carolyn just said about the physical therapist prodding me to see how far I can go. They actually prod me a little further than I can go. And, and I'll tell you, when I leave the session, I feel drained, and that's in a good way. That, you know, it's a positive way. Every day, um, my physical therapist, Abby, she pushes me just a little bit further. And at first, in my mind, I, you know, I've gotten past the point of thinking, no, I can't do that. So you know, oh, this is going to hurt. But, <laughs> but, I, but, you know, I know I can make it happen. And, and you know, she's kind of shown me the way there, which, uh, which is, you know, I'm quite surprised that, you know, I can go deeper than I thought.